House Resolution Number 171, introduced by Representative Morris, a resolution to declare October 21, 2021, as Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the state of Michigan. Speaker recognizes Representative Steckloff. Thank you. June 9th, 2015. That was the day I was diagnosed. What Representative Morse talked about self-care and self-breast exams is so important. The only reason, the only reason I found out I had breast cancer was because it was Memorial Day weekend, I was laying out in the sun and got extremely sunburned. And as I was putting lotion on my bikini line, I felt this lump. And I work out a lot, so I figured it was just from that. I just so happened to have a gynecologist appointment the following week. We did our thing and everything, and right before the doctor was walking out the door, I said, oh, wait, I think I found a lump. I don't know what it is. So she felt around, noticed it, and said, Samantha, it's nothing, but, you know, I have to send you. I was not going to go to Beaumont. I said, this is a waste of my time. I have to take another day off of work. Well, thank God I went. At 31 years old, you have a 2.3% chance of getting breast cancer. And I want all the men in the room to hear this. 2.3% for a woman under 35. Men, 1.6%. Just a fraction of a percentage more, and it can happen. I went through my mammogram because I was 31 years old. It didn't even show, didn't even show in the mammogram. So we tagged it, biopsied it, and then I got the call, Samantha, I don't have good news for you. One of the most devastating things about this disease at the age of 31, I was single, I lived on my own, I had a job. This put such a wrench my life has forever changed, but the most devastating part of this journey is that I now have zero control of my family planning. At 37 years old, I still don't know what my future is. And I can't imagine a life without being a mother. Excuse me, this is very difficult to talk about because as a young breast cancer survivor, it's almost impossible for me to adopt because of adoption laws. I've been rejected so many times because of my cancer. One of the only options we have is surrogacy. As expensive as it is, this is our only option. I had to be strong because my parents were worried and crying every day. And I knew that it was up to me to show them I was going to survive. I was in chemo for well over a year. I am still taking a form of chemo. And every morning, I look down at my pills, pretty much feeling like I'm in the batter's, bo bat bat batter's box, talking myself and psyching myself up to take just these little pills every morning because I know at some point during the day, I am going to get extremely sick from them. It could be pain, it could be nausea, but I know that every day I have to deal with this. So I beg you, I beg you, you are the best advocate for yourself. I know men, I'm looking at you, but you have to do breast ex self breast exams as well. Uh, so please remember that. It can happen to anyone. And with the new technology, just in five years, we now have 3D mammograms that are going to save thousands of lives. Thank you. The question before the House is the adoption of House Resolution 171. All those in favor of the resolution will say aye. Those opposed, nay. The resolution is adopted.